So welcome everybody to my safety video, my diversity moment, or my life hack, whichever you prefer. Um, let's see, it's a safety video because I'm teaching you how not to chop your finger like I did. I've had first-hand experience. It's a diversity moment because this would be a uh, young coconut, which is kind of an Asian delicacy. And I guess it's a life hack because it might show you a couple tricks. Alright, so first off, you want to get into the coconut. Being a young coconut, this is full of, full of juice and water. You'd be able to hear it at the store whenever you buy them. You want it to be heavier than, the, than most of them, so uh, just check it for hand, for weight. Make sure that it's uh, heavy. The heavier it is, the more juice that's in it. Uh, being young coconuts, the meat that's inside is going to be a lot less than a uh, traditional coconut that you might buy at Safeway or something. So to get into it, uh, you don't want to chop into it if you can help into it, if you can help it because it's going to um, possibly get your fingers. What I like to do is roll it and just kind of push down. I'm never taking the cleaver all the way off of it. I'm just sort of pushing with it. That way my fingers are never in danger. What you're doing is exposing the hard shell that's underneath. You guys have probably seen me do this at work before. I do this when I don't have any more apples. So here's the coconut. Some coconuts are more pointed than others. Uh, some aren't. So now this is the only time when you actually have to have a little more risk and you're going to be uh, swinging at the coconut. Now I kind of swing down at an angle and I slowly work my way into it because I don't want all the juice to leak out on the counter. So you can see the little bit of white there. That's the tip. We're almost there. My wife's going to kill me. I'm making a mess. Usually I actually do this outside on my railing because then if it falls on the grass I don't care. So now you can see the whites exposed. Um, I haven't broken all the way through to the water so it hasn't made a mess. So when I want to get into it, I'm going to tip it upright and I'll kind of grab the camera here and hold it up and I take a straw and I just go into it at an angle. Now I got a hole into it. You see the hole right there? If I stick the straw and try to use it, I've created a vacuum. So you want to make a hole a little bigger than the straw. Push down a second time. You can see the water screwed out. Now you're set to go. Fresh. Okay, so this is part two. Now you've enjoyed your coconut. Um, briefly expound, there's a couple different species of coconuts. One's very pointed. I don't know if you noticed, but this one actually had a pretty sharp point on it. The other ones are really blunt, a really shallow point on it. Uh, the sharp points are a little more of a challenge to get into. Uh, the shallow ones you can t are a little easier because the uh, shell isn't as thick. So anyways, the way that I get into coconuts is different than I've seen any of my relatives from uh, Southeast Asia do it. Usually they just give it a good solid crack on top of a like a big chopping block or a stump outside or a big piece of wood or something like that. Uh, mine's got a little more finesse to it. My wife taught me this. Um, and I really haven't seen anybody else use it, but I like it because I think it's a little neater. Uh, makes a little less of a mess. You don't have to swing the butcher as hard, so I think uh, the butcher knife is hard, so I think it's a little safer. Alright, so first thing on the, I guess you call it the equator of the coconut, after you've gone into it, you want to remove all the skin so you can actually get down to the hard shell. So when I do this, I never take the knife again off the edge of the coconut. So you can use a big butcher knife like this, or you can use some other kind of a carving knife or something else. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is, since this is one of these pointier coconuts, they're a lot smaller. And it's, uh, I guess it's kind of luck of the draw of which one you get. So this has a lot more husk on the outside of it. And I'm just working my way around. Watch your fingers. Keep your fingers back away from it. Use a cutting board, of course. You don't want to make holes in your counter. Once again, do I go outside with this part? Not usually, because it doesn't make as big of a mess. I'm not swinging at it. Now 
All right, so I don't know if you can see this, but right around here you can see where I've got into the shell a little bit. And so up here, this is hard meat. This is, uh, excuse me, this is the husk. This is the husk. Here's the hard shell. And what we're going to actually do is go around the equator, knocking it with the back of the butcher knife. And this is just going to make kind of a shock wave. And for some reason, the coconuts are kind of uh, weak this direction. So, as I go around, and if you listen to it, you'll actually hear a change when it finally breaks, kind of a popping sound. And it doesn't have to be perfect hits. Like I said, this one's a little thicker shell. Oh, hear that right there? You can see the evidence right there where it's starting to open up. So I'm going to continue around it. You can hear the different sound. And there, it's finally open. Now the last part of it, just stick your knife in just a little bit. Pry it apart. There's what the inside looks like. Now you can enjoy the meat out of it. You can see the meat's not very thick. This is traditional for young coconuts. But as I said before, this is a pointed coconut, so it's very small. Hope you enjoyed the So I've decided to add a third part to this video. Um, I just realized when I first was introduced to this style of coconut, uh, I really didn't know how to eat it. Um, I had to be kind of taught that by my wife May as well. So this, uh, the inside of this is kind of, this particular one is white and there's a little more meat in it than sometimes. But sometimes it's actually almost a jelly and you kind of got to spoon it out. So it's similar to uh, what you might find is a older coconut where the meat might stick out as much as a half an inch or more. But you take the spoon, you go and you just sort of force the spoon around like so and then you go down in and just sort of scoop it out and it comes out right in a little kind of a jelly like substance and it's tastes like coconut but it doesn't tr taste like your traditional ground coconuts anyhow that's how you eat a coconut and eat the meat out of the coconut